Hi there, welcome to Chappers Photography Channel. Today I've got another unboxing. Actually I feel like Mr Billy unboxing at the moment. I'm doing more unboxing vids than I am uh, time lapse and, and photography vids. Anyway, such is life. Ooh, it rattles. It's an unbagging, then an unboxing. Do you want to know what it is? Well you already know what it is because you, you've clicked to, to see. That. Anyway, I'll tell you what it is. Um, it's made by a company called Andua. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, A-N-D-O-E-R. And it's a little gadget to set your GoPro on, um, or your uh, your smartphone, or um, uh, I don't know, a little camera, I suppose. Um, and it will just, you wind it up, and it will pivot and tick round for 360 degrees. I like shooting time lapses. Sometimes when I go to work, I just sling my, um, well, I've got a smartphone in my pocket. I want to be able to chuck that in a bag. Um, and if I see something worth doing, or particularly good clouds, or I just want to take a quick time lapse, and I want it to be a little bit more interesting than just a static one, I just want to be able to pull something like this out of the bag, stick my phone or my uh, camera on it, wind it up, stick it down, and watch it. So, let's open it up, and let's see if it's any good. Has it arrived in the post? Time lapse photography. So uh, this was inexpensive. It was uh, less than 15 pounds. Um, essentially, I think what it is, is like an old fashioned egg timer that you just twist around to the number of minutes you want. And it tick, 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 tick. it's mechanical. And it will just tick round and your phone is on the top and it's pivoting round. It takes the, the time lapse as you go. Um, I like the fact it's mechanical. I've got about, uh, batteries in it, but obviously it's very limited. It only goes around one way. A very, very light limit on uh, what you can put on it. But anyway, let's have a look. Phone protection and the item, a bit of phone protection underneath it, and that is all you get. The directions are on the back here, should that not focus? Mount camera on the time lapse device, place time lapse device with camera in final position, slowly third slowly turn top side of the time-lapse device clockwise to the desired starting position. Start the recording of your time-lapse video. So, I think that's a fairly self-explanatory. What they don't say is that there is a standard small tripod connection on the top and the bottom, which is why I've got this here, which is the uh, little Benro mini tripod. Um, really useful little gadget. I got this a little while ago. Uh, it's got a little ball head on the top there. In fact, if you'd like to see the uh, the unboxing and test video of that, I'll leave a little link um, just about uh, here. Yeah, just here. This can be used obviously sat straight down on the ground. Um, there's no need for it to be put onto a tripod or anything else. Um, if the surface was not stable, then um, by putting it onto something like this, you're keeping it off the ground, and maybe that would be better for a vantage point, especially if you were in a um, if there was grass around here, or you wanted to take a, a, a low level shot. Um, so I've just got an old point and shoot here. I'll just uh, dug out for use of showing you how it can be there we go so that would just screw onto the top there um, I guess you'd have to make sure that the uh, lanyard there didn't uh, didn't get caught the other option which is the one I'd probably use it with is uh, this little gadget here comes with the uh, with the little tripod and that will screw onto there and then you just lift that up with the phone and then you can just set your phone on your time lapse. Um, I don't propose to uh, make this video 15 or 30 minutes long for you to watch this revolve around but I think, <laughs> I think what I might do just to uh, show it working is um, using this little GoPro here that I'm filming with um, I think I'll just do a quick time lapse and I'll splice that back into the video at the end don't think there's an awful lot more to say, providing that when we turn that it works. I'll cut here. 
I'll do the time lapse, providing nothing horrendous happens. I'll just do a quick wrap up. If anything turns out that it's uh, horrendous, it doesn't work, or there's anything else I need to know, I'll uh, I'll let you know then. So I'll be back shortly. The time lapse has just run. It wasn't very interesting for you, but I think you can appreciate that that probably could give some uh, good results. Simple, cheap, mechanical. You're not going to get caught with no batteries. Drag it out, stick your phone on, stick your compact on. It's probably going to be an upper limit to what you can use. I guess a DSLR would sit on it, um, especially a smaller one. Um, you've got a little bit of motion in your time lapses. Um, I'm happy enough with it. I don't know how long it, it will last. It's not quite disposable, is it? But if it works for a number of months and I get a good few shoots out of it, then you've got to consider whether it, whether whether you've got enough out of it to justify its price point um, and how long it lasts. I'll wrap it up there. If you'd like to know anything else about it, if you've got any comments, if you've got any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. I do go through it and uh, and respond to people that leave leave comments there. Um, and thanks very much for watching. If you'd uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. I do regular unboxings and you might find some other things on there that are of interest. Thanks very much. Goodbye.